Hi, this is Dave Barnett with our first ever video blog to supplement the blog that's now on our new website. Check us out at lzeta.com. Today we're talking about understanding lumens. And lumens you hear a lot about, especially regarding tactical flashlights. People talk about it a lot, use it as bragging rights, but it's a very misunderstood topic. Lumens are a measurement of the total light output of a flashlight. They are not a measurement of brightness. And you'll hear people use that uh, term mistakenly. They'll say things like, oh, 900 lumens, it's too bright. Well, that's a, a categorical error. It's really nonsense. Something like saying 900 amps is too much voltage. Again, lumens measure total light output and not brightness. To demonstrate that point, I have a 900 lumen Elzetta Charlie model flashlight. Again, 900 lumens. This is using our standard optical lens. And this one is indeed very bright, a lot of intensity. To change this beam pattern, I can simply remove our standard optical lens, drop in our flood lens. Now the flashlight is still 900 lumens, but now you'll notice it's a much more diffuse, less intense or less bright output, and it's spread over a much wider area. Now this is probably difficult to see on a video, I'm just shining it on my hand. So we've taken a couple photographs, beam shots if you will, inside of a church sanctuary. Now this first shot is again a 900 lumen Elzetta modular flashlight with a standard lens. You'll notice that the cross is lit with a high intensity light and it's very bright on that cross. Now this photograph is taken with the same flashlight, the same camera settings, but with the flood lens installed. Still 900 lumens, but you'll notice it lights up the entire sanctuary. The intensity at the cross is less, but you'll notice you can see from the baptismal to the piano, the pews leading up to the front of the sanctuary, everything is much more lit up in a much wider, more diffuse pattern. Both are 900 lumens, but very, very different in intensity and beam pattern. Now to further explain the concept of lumens and how it is a measure of total light output and not brightness, we're going to go outside and use a, something as an analogy that will hopefully be very helpful. All right, here we are outside on a beautiful spring day here in Kentucky. I want to just do a real quick analogy that hopefully will drive home the point that lumens again are a measure of total light output, not of brightness or intensity. So, simple garden hose with an adjustable nozzle. This is something everyone is familiar with. And the flow rate through this is going to be constant regardless of how I regulate the nozzle, or more or less. Just like we demonstrated that the 900 lumen Elzetta Charlie flashlight is still 900 lumens whether it's in our concentrated standard lens or a more diffuse spread out flood lens. Well here we've got say 10 gallons per minute and I can adjust this nozzle so that that is in a pretty concentrated spray. A lot of pressure, this will project a long way, it's got a lot of intensity. That's going to be great if I'm trying to project a long way, if I'm washing a car, need to get some mud off a mud flap. But if I'm trying to water a flower garden, that intensity is going to be too much and it's going to be counterproductive. Well, I can take the same nozzle and adjust it out a bit into a wide, gentle spray. Now this is the same 10 gallons per minute, but it's a gentle spray. This will be very appropriate for watering a flower garden. But it's not going to project nearly as far, and it's not going to have much force if I'm trying to blast mud off my car. So I've still got the same flow rate, which would be analogous to the same number of lumens, but the way that, that light, or in this case that water, is distributed is very different. So we can see, depending on my application, I'm going to choose a different pattern. If I want to let the kids play in the, in the hose, I'm going to use this. Or if I want to water a flower garden, I'm going to use this. But if I need to project farther, get some force, I can adjust it down this way. In a very similar way, you're going to want to get your flashlight so that the output is not just a certain number of lumens, but that they are projected in the type of beam pattern you want. If you need that distance, you're going to want something like an Elzetta standard lens. If you need something for close quarters battle, CQB home defense, something that's going to give you great situational awareness, you're going to want our flood lens. And that's still going to be 900 lumens in either case. Same with the fl flow rate, but it's going to be very different depending on your application.